Arcs and vector arcs are precisely defined objects, mainly based on a radius, sweep, and arc length, but they can be created using a wide variety of different methods. There are two main tools for drawing arcs, arc and quarter arc. However, first we will take a look at the arc object and how to manipulate it. By default, if you draw an arc in Vectorworks activated by pressing 3 on your keyboard, you'll see the arc line, but also a filled area within it. If you do not want to see this, select the arc and change its fill to none in the attributes palette. Alternatively, you can draw arcs that are drawn with no fill. With nothing selected, activate the arc tool, change the fill in the attributes palette to none, and all future arcs will be drawn with no fill. Arcs have a number of attributes displayed in the object info palette. The most important ones to understand are sweep, which is the angle the arc covers, arc length, which is the length of the actual arc perimeter, and radius, which is the length from the arc center to any point along the arc line. The modes by which you can create an arc in Vectorworks are varied in order to provide a drawing mode for most situations. The first of these modes, radius, is used by first clicking the point you wish to set as the arc center. The second click will set both the radius of the arc as well as the arc start point. The third click sets the arc end point and therefore the arc length as well. Arc by three points is best for tracing or aligning with an already existing arc or curve. The first click sets the arc start point. The second sets a point along the arc length that the arc will be forced to pass through regardless of where you set the third click, which determines the arc's endpoint. The third mode, tangent to line, first requires that you draw or trace out a line for it to create an arc tangent to. The first click sets the start point of the arc. The second click, however, does not set another component of the arc, only the line that the arc will be created tangent to. After the second click, you'll see the arc follow the cursor, but remain tangent to the line defined by the second click. The third click sets the endpoint for the arc. The fourth mode of the arc tool is center mode. The first and second click set the arc start and end points respectively. The third click defines the radius as well as the location of the arc center. Specified radius is similar to center. However, after the first and second clicks to set the two arc endpoints, a dialog box will appear and you will need to manually specify the radius of the arc. The arc will be created upon clicking OK. Point on arc is also very similar to center, having the same first two clicks to define the arc's endpoints and the third click setting the radius. However, when using this tool, the third click sets the arc line itself along its sweep instead of setting the arc center point directly. Arc length requires that you first set the start and end points of the arc, as with many of the other modes we've covered. The dialog box that appears lets you set the arc length. Since this is the value you are entering, Vectorworks will automatically calculate the radius for you. If you draw the arc from left to right, the arc will be drawn above the line you specify. If you draw the arc from right to left, the arc will be drawn below. The next button in the mode bar is push-pull. You will only see this when in a 3D view. With this mode enabled, immediately after you draw an arc with this tool, the push-pull tool will temporarily activate and allow you to click and drag on the face of your arc to create an extrude. In the basic palette, if you look at the arc tool, you'll see a disclosure arrow at the bottom right of the tools icon. This means there is another, usually related tool listed beneath it. Click and hold on this icon to see the pop-out menu. Here you'll see a similar tool, quarter arc. The quarter arc tool can be found by pressing Option 3 or Alt 3 on your keyboard quarter arc does as its name implies. It creates one quarter or 90 degrees of a complete circle or ellipse. The first click sets the start point for the arc. The second click sets the end point. Holding the shift key down on the keyboard after the first click and during the second click will force the arc to be a quarter of a perfect circle. Otherwise, the resulting object will be a polyline. The standard arc tool is capable of doing what this tool does as well but this tool specifically creates arcs at only 90 degrees and can make creating those specific angles much easier.